first time we ever met Kobe, we made him a pineapple bowl. He called me like, bro, you'll never guess who's here. And I'm like, who? Stoke, though. Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> so I thought I got in the kitchen. I thought we, we missed him. He walked behind us when we were cooking. I turned around like, oh my God, it's Kobe. And he's smiling. Like this the whole time. Cheese and hard. He had that Disneyland smile on. <laughs> You gonna smile one more time? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna fight? Yeah. Fight me then. What? What? Seven. <laughs> What's up? I'm Spanky Hollis from Trap Kitchen. And I'm Bad News. We live in the Munchies Kitchen. Trap Kitchen is a, the largest social media underground restaurant on all media platforms. Today we will be preparing the deadliest cast pineapple bowl, which consists of king crab, jumbo prawns, and these wonderful lobster guys over here. He probably want something to eat. Yeah, hey, what's up? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> to make this, you need chili sauce. We have our teriyaki sauce, chives, green onions, whatever you guys want to call them. Jasmine Sriracha, rice. jasmine rice, sesame, sesame seeds. seeds, Cajun seasoning, kosher salt, pepper, butter. <laughs> oh, you can't forget the pineapples. The most important piece. First of all, we need to get this shit out of the way and get this rice going. <laughs> so we got four cups of jasmine rice, two pound bag. I'm gonna put this like so in the pot. So that's eight cups of water. Always start rice with cold water. And we're gonna put it on high for about 15 minutes. So while we're letting our rice cook, we're gonna take a pineapple, slice it down the middle, and gut it out, make our bowl. I'm just chopping them in half right now, and then I'm gonna carve it out and gut it. So you need a good chef knife. Keep your knife sharp. Going straight through. So we're gonna cut out a square right now. Bro's cutting out a square. This is how my method of getting it out the easiest. I done seen people do it different ways, but I mean, I just think this is easy. Cutting the square, getting up under it. This fester looks good. <laughs> that was tight. I just, what? you know what I'm saying, we do this. Yeah. We like to take the pineapple, we put it to the side for later because we're going to use it as a garnish. We have our pineapple gutted. We're waiting for the rice to cook. Let's get started on the meat. So first we're going to start with the lobster tails. We're going to split them down the middle. We're <laughs> cleaning out the pool, okay guys? Some people like to eat the pool. We don't. Yeah, the pool is out. Cajun seasoning mixed with a little bay seasoning. Just a sprinkle. I don't know. It's just to taste, you know, everybody likes theirs different. I kind of go heavy on mine. A little bit of kosher salt. You know, you gotta, you know, hit them with the salt bay. Where is the pepper mill? There we go. Oh yeah, it's going up. Yeah, now you can turn it down. Reduce the heat. Oh, man, reduce the heat. So we're gonna melt a little butter for our lobsters. And this is unsalted water, you guys. I grew up in LA and Compton. I mean, you know, Compton, Compton is like it's his own city. I didn't meet him until after high school, like when I was my, my senior year. Through a mutual friend from my neighborhood and a friend from my neighborhood, they were cousins. And so, you know, they actually made it cool for us to hang. But we took a liking to each other off, off the yeah. back, you know? Then we started throwing our own kickbacks and functions and we just been cool ever since. Oh, it was only right. Now we're gonna bust these king crab down. One leg per bowl, just depending on the size of the king crab. You know, just you bust just... it down, man. It has to fit in the bowl. We do pineapple Fridays in the trap. So every other Friday we do different our different variations of our pineapple. Snoop Dogg, he always orders pineapple bowls. We'll add some of this bay and Cajun to these. We made one for Martha king Stewart crab. too on her show. The... Oh yeah. So down to earth. The coolest she billionaire. gave me a kiss on my cheek. Coolest billionaire you know. <laughs> Top the rice at the end so they can cook through. We're gonna set our king crab and our lobsters on a tray. We're boiling them today, ladies and gentlemen. Set that up like so. So if you don't have a grill. broiler, you have a barbecue grill, that works. If you don't have a barbecue grill, you can saute them in the pan. pan. Yeah. Yeah. It's options. Ooh, knife action. I've been cooking since I was like 11 years old. Mom's worked two jobs, you know what I'm saying? So she always couldn't cook for us. Um, used to ditch from school, have kickbacks back in my house. Cooking. Cooking, burning stuff up, you know. 
eventually I got good at it. Started throwing parties and selling food at my parties. Then I just made a decision to go to culinary school. So now we have our butter. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour the butter on the whole thing. The butter is the trick. That's the magic. It's the lobster and uh, crab. All right, so let's get this into the broiler. 10, 15 minutes, depending on the salamander. So while the lobster and the crab is in the broiler, we're gonna get our shrimp sauteed and ready to go. All right, the shrimp, we're gonna just put this bay in the occasion. Tails on. Yeah. Take a little olive oil drizzle into your pan. Nice and hot. A little bit of butter. Jumbo prawns. Tiger prawns. Oh! Bam! Don't do it to them like that. Yeah, you can play with that. That's it. Ah. Ah. Okay, Circus Act. Watch out, Emerald Lagasse. So you're gonna cook them until they're nice and pink, firm, oh. not yeah. see-through and clear. You don't want to get sick, trust me. Mm, that butter smells so good. Wow, wow. Y'all getting hungry in here? Oh, pass me the sweet chili sauce. I'm tripping. I almost forgot the sweet chili sauce, but it's a great way to finish you it You're gonna reduce your fire and put, throw that in so it won't burn, and boom. Just a little bit. Give that a quick stir. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice color, nice color. Go check the crabs. Oh yeah, a couple of little burn marks, ain't nothing. Today we use shrimp, king crab, and lobster, but you can use salmon, chicken, beef short rib, any variation. As long as you're creative, you can use it. You know? Oh yeah. We even have a vegan bowl with butternut squash. And it's fire. So now we got our seafood cooked. We got our um, pineapples gutted. gutted. We're gonna make some garnishes out of pineapples and green onions. So chop these down like so. So Trap Kitchen means the, the acronym stands for to rise above poverty and to take risks and prosper. Now I remember when we used to sit in our small kitchen and sit right there after we just sold out of food and we just didn't know how to feel about it. Like bro, one day we're gonna be on TV we're gonna do this, we're gonna cook for all these stars, and just fast forward into four years later now, and we're really yeah. doing it, like, you know, so it's a blessing. And also, for the kids, man, don't be a follower. You know what I'm saying? If you got goals in front of you, go after them. Well, let's make some balls, okay. So we're gonna take our half pineapple bowl, gut it. We'll take our wonderful, perfectly cooked jasmine rice, and we're gonna just Make a bed with the lobster tail. So Instagram is a big deal for me because from culinary school, when I got out and I was doing personal chef work, I would document the plates and you know the arrangements that I would do. And people will always ask, when is it gonna be open to the public? When can we try it? When are you gonna come home and cook for us? So it was like, okay, I take pretty cool pictures, you know what I'm saying? And get people's attention. So that's the way we built the platform, take a picture, make a cool caption on how to order. You hit the number, you get the address, you order delivery or you can order pickup. It's a secret location. Once we ran out, we sold the fuck out. You know what I'm <laughs> sold saying? Sold the fuck out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps the demand high for Trap Kitchen. So here we have our bowl set. We put together all our protein in there. Teriyaki sauce, pineapple teriyaki sauce. With sesame seeds in it. You want it to be thick because you don't want it to be runny. You want it to seep into the rice and still be on the meat. Because you want you to lick on your fingers and your hands and get messy. Now I'm going to top it with these green onions. Go ahead and sesame seed them down. Sesame seeds. A little bit of pineapple pieces. This is, art. This is really takes time to make it look nice. To make it look nice. Can't forget the spice, man. Gotta add a little kick to it. There we go. There you have it. Definitely a hands-on thing. The fork is just for the rice, but you have to get through this before you get to eat. Rice is the last, the last part of it because it's soaked in pineapple juice. Let's try this, man. Enough looking at it. Man. Mm. 
mm, mm, mm. With that sriracha and that teriyaki sauce, oh my God. My finger licking. For this recipe and other pineapple bowl recipes, go get our book, man. It's online on all book outlets. Major book outlets. Yeah. There you have it. Deli is catch. Shout out to Munchies and Vice for having us. Let yeah. us trap out your kitchen. Mm -hmm.